position to work degradingly and inferiorly against them. The Don't slave die. masters beat the slaves using the word to keep them in fear and caught and in yeah. their so-called place they didn't as, as they were some sort of uncontrollable animals. Yet they yeah, were treated yeah, yeah, worse yeah. than you know animals. And Why the, continue to get you know the so much are? power by making it popular and cool to other cultures when it has been used to degrade us in the past and continues to sting the ears and pierce the hearts of those who walk through and struggle and still remember the word was used as a powerful tool to provoke and antagonize the best of us. Look, let me you, do, you, you do you do realize the political the, word right there. That's a powerful right. You realize the politicalness of it though? The politicalness yeah. of it is that people who proceed from a, a stance of persecution have legitimate rights um, to reparations and to other things to uh, damage done under a constitutional system in such a way that it's equalized in the eyes of everybody who participated, even though none of us actually did, in sort of uh, a down uh, thing. Uh, and, yes. I would just say that the slave master was the animal, not the nigger that was getting beat. I, I would say that was. Okay. And uh, that might be true, but unfortunately, we were the ones that took the meeting. Call us 770. Are you there? Well, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, let me, yeah, let me uh, bounce when I am. I'm, ba- I'm out. All right, guys. All right. It was great. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks Thanks a lot. Everyone, Thanks a lot. Take care. Okay. Uh, SJ, that's you again? Yeah, 707 first. 770. 770. Hello, 770. Are you there? Well, it looks like we got a call at 770. Are you talking uh, to me? Yeah, yeah. How are you? I don't know why it would be 770. This is Donna Devane. Yeah, Donna Devane. Okay. Well, I want to tell you, since we're talking about taking words back, I am taking back the word liberal. It means favorable to progress or reform. I'm taking it back. It's my word. Liberal is now a good word. Right. Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. We're not going to give them the power to change these words. into The, the right tries to change liberal into something bad. You know, the I am taking it back. Exactly. It's nice of you to do it. Liberal, and that means I am favorable to progress or reform, exactly. and I am all about reforming and progressing this horrendous political system that we find ourselves in, where we spend so much time arguing with one another rather than figuring out solutions for the problems <laughs> that behest all of us. Amen. Right, right on, sister. Liberal. I'm a liberal nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to throw that in. And I want to tell mm-hmm. you, my, my 18-year-old will not listen to your show. Uh, and the reason is because she hears that N-word uh, so many times on this show, and we don't say it. Down here in the South, uh, you are really ignorant if you use that word, especially if you're white. And, and it is very confusing to white people uh, when black people say words, call one another words, that we're now teaching our children in the South is racist, rude, and totally uncouth. Well, you give it a pop, point. Like I Donna, said, Donna, yeah. I, I applaud you for that because that's what I feel too. Because you know they say they're saying, well, in the, well, technically to me, it nigger right now means it can be anybody. It can be white, black, purple, green, polka dots, and to any person. You get but that. I'm just saying it. We're, we're we're teaching our kids not to say the word. You know, and use it in the wrong terminology, and then we still want to. Well, teach them to use it in the right terminology. There is no right use it in the right terminology. There is no All it means is you're a dark skinned person of African ancestry. Do not give these beasts and, and these savages and, and these savages that beat they, us into submission and everything the power to change words into what they want them to mean. When they pick up a history, when I am, it's in there. when I am, yeah, when I, you know, I, I I'm just going to be straight up with you. I'm, I'm white. I'm of Cherokee ancestry and British ancestry and French ancestry if we want to go way back in the genetic pool. But I don't hear white people using that word. The only people I hear using what we refer to down here as the N-word are black people. And it, yeah. it is very disconcerting 
when, you know, I hear you say, well, we're taking it back. We're taking it back. Well, why use it at all? I mean, instead of because using it and saying, I, I, well, it, it's like calling somebody a garden implement, you know? When I hear right. women refer to one another as a garden implement, and you, you ladies know what I'm talking about. Not exactly. Oh, why, not would you, why, why would you disrespect yourself? Referring garden. to yourself. You're trying to take back that word. Take it back. My God. That, that word means what it means. Leave it be and find a better word. Instead of trying, instead of trying to clean up the N word, why don't you find a word that's representative, representative of your of your humanity, of your dignity, of your respect? The word, the word nigga is representative of my humanity. I'm a dark-skinned person of African ancestry. It means, okay? I'm Can I break in for uh, just a little bit? Break yeah. in. I love a debate. I mean, one I am knows I love a good debate. Exactly. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate Donna. I appreciate your viewpoint. You know, it's very good. But you let you given the power to to uh, bad people to change words. You won't let them take liberal, but you'll let them have nigger. Well, I, you're the one, you're the only one. That's my point. I don't hear white people using that word. I only hear black people using that word, and that would be like me referring to myself as a female dog. And then saying, well, female dog means something good. No, I'm not going to refer to my, myself as that. If, no, but if, my, if, if my daddy calls me that, my husband called me that, after he picked his butt up off the floor because I knocked him out with a frying pan, I bet <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But like, like I said. Did you say your that, daddy or your, your husband knocked you to the floor? You said you're from the south. So sometimes that's the same. If my brother, my daddy, my neighbor, one of these co-hosts on this show showed up at my house and called me that, somebody would have to pull your butt up off the floor because I would knock you out. Thank you, Donna. That's my feeling too. I just, I, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be an itch. I don't want to be an oak. I don't want to be a nigga. I don't want to be none of that. I want to be me. I you can't throw nigga in with those words. Nigga is not a disparaging word. Nigga, to me it is. And that would be like me referring to myself as a female dog. Hey, uh, Isaiah Eastman, you have to turn down the radio so that we can, understand, so we can hear what you I'm not going to refer to myself. All right. You, you got the radio down? Hello? Yeah. Uh, Isaiah Eastman. This is actually D. Eastman. Okay. What's up? When I am? Yeah. My nigga. What's up? That's right. I'm your nigga. You know that. <laughs> you know, I got to ha take my hat off to, what's his name? Nighthawk. The, he's the owner of the radio show. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Nighthawk. Yeah, I just want to take my hat off to Nighthawk for one reason, is that this is real talk. Uh, radio show, and that's what we really need. And I've listened to this show from the start till this point, and I'm telling you, just listen to all the viewers. It's really opened up the conver the real conversation. We often talk about the N word, but people don't even say the N word when they're on in public because it's been prohibited to say the N word. But we know what the N word means, and and like you said, it's not meant. It was never meant to be bad. But and I agree with a lot of the callers. Uh, it's been so much damage and so much pain and so much hurt behind it. You can't use it. You can't use it without anybody feeling bad about it. So it, it's so much damage that be done. I don't know if it could ever be reversed. But, you know, the thing is, it's so interesting. And for me, it's been, you know, I thought I knew more about it um, yeah. than I did till tonight. Um as far as the origin of the word, I knew that it came from Nigeria, it came from the people, but I thought in the beginning until this show, I thought that it was based on the fact that um, due to the brutality that was put upon people of color by the slave trade, that they just added that. It's like and someone mentioned earlier, when you call, refer to a woman, a bitch is a female doll is what they say. Okay, and when you yeah. use that out of contents and referring to a human being and a woman, it's very degrading. But this is this this is apples and oranges. What you're saying, this yeah, has this nothing to oranges. do. 
this has nothing to do with that. It's not no, meant to be degrading. It was words. turned into something that was degrading. And it's very educational for me, and, I, and it opens the um, eyes, hopefully, to a lot of people because, you know, I have people here sitting around right now and, and who are very educated in college grads, and they're like, wow, I did not know that. So, you know, this is, you know, this is a good form that you guys have, and you need to keep that up, keep it going. And uh, it gives people something to really have honest dialogue. And I know, like if we were on Oprah or any other show, no, I, I heard all these white people call saying the word nigger. They never would have said that word. They yeah. never would have used that word. And I'm glad that they're able to, because in yeah, order to. Uh, <laughs> well, let me tell you this. They never use it with each other, with black and white, okay? And like the one guy said, you know, um, he got, he got a pass because he said white nigger. <laughs> he got a yeah. pass with, with the people because he said white nigger. And they, and they, and, and they kind of understood it. He felt, I guess they felt that he felt that they understood his pain. But, and he got a pass on that. But that's really not what this is about. It's really about understanding and knowing what things are and why we do things. And, and I agree. I agree with Debbie with nobody at this point can't be called nigger. It's just too much history piled upon it's too much history piled upon that name but like you said when i am and you're absolutely yeah. right because of it people don't want to deal with the truth they want right. to deal with what was in front of us they don't want to deal with it because it's too much to unfold it's too many layers to pull back if you want to go back to uh, understanding with that word and, you know, I've yeah. heard judges on television have expressed that, that when people say, my nigga, it's some, it can be used all kinds of ways as a term of endearment. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, something that's derogatory. But beca And the word itself, which I'm just learning yeah. tonight, it's never meant to be derogatory. It's just a name. It's just a word. It's, it's just, just a, a word. It's and just it's not a, a word. But word. somebody took it but it's, and destroyed it's today, it. But it's today society. Today's society is a bad word. We have a plethora of bad words that we use, and sometimes we use bad words intentional to hurt people. Right. And if you wanted to hurt a black person and you were a white person, a good word to use would be nigga. If you wanted to hurt a female, a good word to use would be uh, the female dog word. Um, <laughs> it, I mean... We, as as, a, as humans and as people, we should uh, try to have more humanity and be more civilized to where we wouldn't try to intentionally hurt people and we can express our differences in a civilized way. But if we cannot and we must resort to trying to hurt someone with words, those are some great words to use. When I am, yeah. when I am, I, I, I think I got you. I think I finally got you. So <laughs> you, you you say the word nigger. What does it mean to you now? It means a dark-skinned person, uh, one of uh, African descent, or it could be one of Indian descent. They use it in no, okay. Well, let's, dark let, let's go with dark skin. Let's go with dark skin of African descent. So I'm going to take uh, somebody who's going to be your judge. He's going to judge this word. So how do you get more African than a guy from African Africa? This guy from Nigeria, yeah. uh, his name was Razak. And he no more thought of himself as a nigger than I would think of myself as an Indian. I mean, it was like, even if you called him a nigger, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even register to him. He had, there's no way he could even comprehend that word. So let's let him be the judge. So how does he use the word? Well, he doesn't look. use it, he doesn't use it calling another African a nigger. He thinks of a nigger. I'm serious. He thinks of a nigger as a as an American black. There's your judge. As, yeah. as, as, as the original uh, black man from Africa. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this one thing, though. Let me say this. The people from Nigeria don't even respect black people in the USA because they think we lower than them. Okay. Because well, the so way that we were treated exactly. and the way that we were actually raised, they think that we're lower than them. Africans. So the, the, exactly. the Africans and the Nigerians, they think that black people are lower than them. They think we have exactly. no sense. We have uh, no common to, sense. To what I am, to what I am's defense, he did say of African descent, so he could <laughs> be referring to the African American. The Nigerian. Well, no, this guy was from <laughs> the Nigerian is let, a nigga as well. Let me say this also. 